Hello, this is Andy from VPN Mentor and today I'll be demonstrating perfect privacy. So first I'll be downloading this software to show you around and give you a quick tutorial. I'll then test the speed of this service to see how fast they are and can they unblock geo-restricted content like Netflix? Find out later on. And by the end I'll show you how friendly and reliable their customer support is. So let's get started with perfect privacy. Perfect Privacy boldly markets themselves as a standout VPN that delivers a service that beats many other VPN providers, and why not? They use dedicated servers in 24 countries with bandwidth limits of up to 1000 megabits per second. Their very own custom software, which is available for Mac, Windows, iOS and Android, comes jam-packed with features and functions that make connecting and managing your VPN far easier for all types of users. For example, their multi-hop function enhances your security as internet traffic passes through at least two VPN servers as opposed to just one, so you will benefit from having an extra layer of security. Their firewall protection also enhances your security by ensuring that all internet traffic from any apps as well as your browser is routed through the VPN. Of course, there's much more intricate details regarding perfect privacy. Just read the detailed expert review over at vpnmentor.com and you can get a much broader insight. But for now, I'm going to move on and show you their pricing plans. Perfect Privacy have a range of pricing tiers to suit your needs. You could choose the pay monthly option. However, you do have to pay the full price each month as opposed to receiving a discount if you choose the 3 month, 6 month or the 12 month plan. And the biggest saving of all can be found by choosing their 24 month package so overall, you'll end up paying less per month on average. And talking of discounts, why not head over to the VPN Mentor deal page and you can see all the latest money off coupons and special offers. So you certainly save yourself a lot of time and money when searching for a good quality VPN. But now let's head back to Perfect Privacy's pricing plans. There's no sign of any money back guarantee. However, I will test to see whether they can offer my money back when I come to cancel my account. And I'll show you this later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and pay for the one month plan. So choose your username and supply them with a valid email address. And this is all the information they're going to ask you for. Next, for payment methods, you can choose between your credit card or PayPal. And if you prefer the more anonymous methods, then Bitcoin is an option. Or you could also pay by cash, which will take slightly longer for your account to become active, as you'll need to post the cash physically to them. Both of these will ensure that your payment isn't tracked in the same way that credit cards and PayPal are, so that's good news. I chose to use PayPal, so after completing the payment process, I was greeted with the welcome page. As you can see here, an automatically generated password will be sent to your email address, which you'll need to log into the app later on. From this welcome page, you can go ahead and download for your chosen operating system. I've chosen to download for Windows 10. Perfect Privacy automatically detected I was using this and the download link was available for me straight away. The download file was very small, just took a matter of seconds to download and once completed I went ahead and installed the app. This process was also quick and smooth and once completed I double clicked the desktop icon and I was up and running. Once you've opened the software for the first time you will need to enter your username and password. This will automatically be saved so you won't have to do it again the next time you open the app. Here you can also choose which protocol you prefer either IPsec or the default and more secure option OpenVPN. After that, go ahead and click login. Now, let's explore some of the other settings here. Head to the program settings and you'll be able to configure some of the basic aspects of this VPN. So you can choose whether you want to start the app when you launch your computer and which server you prefer to connect to automatically. The server list just gives you the choice to rearrange the layout of servers which you'll see in just a moment. And at the bottom, you can configure the OpenVPN settings, such as what encryption method and whether you prefer to use a TCP protocol instead of UDP. Also, the final checkbox lets you choose a specific server in locations that may already have multiple servers available. So rather than randomly selecting a server each time, you can actually assign the VPN to choose the same one each time you connect to that location. As stated in the introduction, the firewall and DNS protection does enhance your security when connected to their service. And these are the features that Perfect Privacy employ that other VPN providers don't always implement. The firewall settings work to ensure that all internet traffic is routed through the VPN. However, there are some variations to this. You can opt to only tunnel all internet traffic while a VPN connection is active, which is a recommended and default setting within this app. And if you do disconnect from a server, then this firewall will be deactivated and internet traffic will continue to flow as normal through your ISP. 
The second option gives you the choice to prevent any data from passing through to your ISP, even if you disconnect from a server. Though you must keep the VPN app running at all times in order to maintain this level of protection, or if you want a really enhanced level of security, then you can permanently activate the firewall by taking this box. Other options on this panel give you the choice to implement the firewall to your local router to prevent further IP leaks. You can also allow the app to download necessary server information even if you're not connected to the VPN. That means data such as ping results and other traffic data in order to provide you with a real-time glimpse of how well each server performs. And lastly, you can prevent IPv6 leaks and this is important as some websites and services are using this protocol which means that without this feature, any data would simply bypass the VPN tunnel and will be spilling back into the hands of your ISP. So Perfect Privacy will handle this data by assigning a brand new IPv6 address, which will then mask and keep your data private. The DNS leak protection gives you the choice to use Perfect Privacy's very own DNS servers rather than the ones assigned to you by your ISP. This gives you yet another layer of security so that your ISP cannot observe your browsing activities. Similar to the firewall protection options, you can choose to permanently activate the DNS feature and this will modify your computer's DNS settings so you will continue to use Perfect Privacy's DNS servers even if you're not connected to the VPN. Next, the IP and Ports tab gives you more flexibility as you can set to use a random exit IP if the server you choose has more than one IP address assigned to it. And enabling port forwarding is helpful and sometimes necessary if you intend to use torrents or game consoles. Here you can also enable custom port forwarding as well. So the cascading and stealth tab consists of the multi-hop feature that I mentioned in the introduction. This is otherwise known as cascading. By enabling this, you can tunnel your internet traffic through multiple VPN servers instead of just one. So in this case, Perfect Privacy actually allows up to four different servers at one time. Though this will slow your connection down much more than if you were to just use one server, but on the plus side, you do add another layer of protection for your traffic. The Stealth VPN feature will turn your VPN traffic through another set of protocols, and this is handy if you're in a country with a tough firewall, such as China, so you do stand a better chance of successfully using this VPN by choosing this option. And the final settings on this panel give you the choice to connect to the VPN via a proxy. The final settings tab, named Other, is where you'll find your debug log and this can come in handy if you're seeking technical support. You can also check for updates and for whatever reason if you want to reset the app to its default settings then click reset networking. So now having shown you those features let's click close down at the bottom right and then you'll be taken to a server list. Here you can also run a ping test to give you an idea of how well each server is performing and also you can view the range of bandwidth available to you. So that gives you an idea of how good the server is actually performing so now, let's make a quick connection to see if this app is working properly. To do that, just click the connect icon on the right here. And I'm going to choose Paris, and it's relatively close to my location, so this should connect quite quickly. Excellent, it only takes 8 seconds. And by clicking details, you will have some extra information about your connection here. Okay, now that I've shown you the app's working, let's disconnect for now. As I'm going to move on and start putting perfect privacy to the test. So I'll be testing the speed of their service and also whether they have the power to unblock Netflix and afterwards I will test their customer support to see how friendly and responsive they are. But first, let me just show you this IP leak test which confirms that I'm no longer connected to the VPN and all my traffic has been handled by my original ISP based in the UK. And before testing the speed of Perfect Privacy, it's worth testing the speed of my original ISP and then we can compare the results which will give you a clear idea of the impact the VPN has on my connection. So the results give me a ping of 38 milliseconds, a download speed of 38 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 32. As I've stated already, I'm going to show you whether Perfect Privacy can unblock Netflix. As I reside in the UK, quite often certain films and TV shows aren't accessible in my location and can only be viewed if I was located elsewhere, such as the US. To demonstrate this, I'm going to search for a British documentary called An Idiot Abroad. So the results show this documentary is not available in this catalogue, and so the only way I can really watch this show will be to mask my normal IP and tunnel my internet traffic through one of Perfect Privacy's US servers. So before doing this, don't forget to sign out from Netflix, clear all your cookies and restart your browser, and this will ensure that you stand the best chance of unblocking the content so there's no interference from your previous session. So now let's head back to Perfect Privacy and choose a server based in the US. 
So I'm going to choose New York. I'm also going to time this connection like I did before. And so hopefully Netflix hasn't targeted the specific server or even the VPN provider for that matter, as they sometimes do because they are very much against the use of VPNs and proxies to unblock their content. Okay, so this time it takes 12 seconds to connect to the server. And like I did earlier on, here's another IP leak test that will show you that the VPN is successfully routing my internet traffic through the New York server and I'm also using Perfect Privacy's DNS servers. Of course, let's do the speed test of this particular server as well. And the results this time are giving me a ping of 125 milliseconds, a download speed of almost 30 megabytes per second, and an upload speed of 17. Of course, by choosing a good VPN provider like Perfect Privacy, you will have access to top quality servers that will give you the ideal speeds that you're looking for. And don't forget that servers that are farther away from your location will always be slower than the ones closer to home. But I'm quite happy with these speeds, and having taken other servers for a test drive, I can say that pretty much all of their servers deliver similar results to this one you see here, and it's only marginally slowing down my internet connection. So overall, I've experienced a smooth browsing experience so far, and these speeds will allow streaming content to be fast with minimal loading and buffering times. However, I'm going to show you this and see whether Perfect Privacy can unblock Netflix. So let's head back to the homepage, and I've now entered the US catalogue. By searching for the documentary, An Idiot Abroad, it is now available for me. So let's click play and hope that Perfect Privacy has the power to unblock this show. Sadly, a very frustrating Netflix error message has appeared this time, and this server is pretty much unable to unblock this content. So now, this is actually a great time to contact support and ask them for help. And in doing so, I'll also show you how fast they respond and whether they were any help to me. To do this, you need to head to the Perfect Privacy homepage and click Member on the top menu. Log in using your usual credentials and once through to your account, click Support on the main menu. Here, you can choose to either post a question on the forum, send an email or use the contact form instead. I chose to use the contact form as you can see here. And having sent them my question, they got back to me within 12 hours, and here's their reply. So unblocking Netflix is largely out of their control, and so after all, it's not the fault of perfect privacy as to whether this works or not, and it's not like they're claiming to unblock content and then failing to do so. While this is unfortunate, let's move on to the last stage of this demonstration, which is to show you how to cancel your account, and to see whether perfect privacy gives me a hard time for leaving. So to cancel, you'll need to head back to your account, you won't find a link to cancel your account, but instead, you will again have to contact support. In my case, they got back to me reasonably quickly, and they did ask what my problems were. They accepted my reasons, and they were not hesitant in refunding my money, even though they don't actually include a money-back guarantee as part of their service. So overall, I highly rate their response as being both helpful and friendly. Well, Perfect Privacy did deliver a fast and efficient service, and their app stands out as being one of the best I've tried so far. It's flexible and has excellent features like the multi-hop and the firewall, which gives you peace of mind that your data is safe. On the downside, there is no official money-back guarantee, and you do have to chase them for a refund if you're not happy with their service. And of course, there's no guarantee that you can unblock streaming services with this VPN, so that's unfortunate. But don't take my word for it, do check out what many others have already said about perfect privacy over at vpnmentor.com. And this is a great way to judge whether Perfect Privacy is the right VPN for you or not. So, if you have any experience with Perfect Privacy, do leave us a comment below. And of course, don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.